All right, let's make a level. First, when was the last time we made a level? A Kaiser level, I wanna check. Our last level we made was on, it was the Ross collaboration, which was, that was seven months ago. And before that, so I haven't made an actual level in like almost a year. What the heck? Damn. <laughs> Tells you how much I got burnt out of level making. Actually, don't enjoy making levels as much anymore because I just feel like there's so much added pressure. Because the uh, the bar has been raised for level design in Kaizo so high ever since Marmika One came out. Now it's like if you if you place your indicator one block wrong or if something doesn't work the first time, you, you call it jank and then the level sucks. That's how high the bar has been raised, which doesn't go well with my level design philosophy, which is BS something out of your butt. That's all. That's how I've been making levels my entire life, and that's how we're gonna do this level, which I I literally don't know what we're doing. I just know we're gonna do something 3D world related. And yeah, now let's uh, start the timer and let my brain work. First things first, I need to test something. So I kind of want to do something with all these power ups, but I also need to test how they interact with the clear con, which is the don't take damage. Because the problem with making a level with the power ups is it's very easily cheesable. So I just want to see if I have the don't take damage clear condition. Does this count as damage? It doesn't even count as damage. Oh, it does count? Wait. Oh, it does count. Okay, I got confused because usually it like gives you the pop-up, but since I guess it's in maker mode, it doesn't do that. Alright, cool. We have we have that. That's cool. I want to do something like this, but ideally I would not have the clear con because honestly the main re well, there's two reasons. One, you can't have a checkpoint, and two, the window that shows like oh beat the level taking damage. It takes up half the screen every time you start the level and it's really annoying. So we can avoid using the clear con unless absolutely necessary, that'd be great, but we have to use it. Oh yeah, the other thing is, will this be pit or passive? The answer is I don't know. Whatever the title of the video is will answer your question, but uh for now I'm just gonna make a level and hope people play it. So yeah. I wonder how hard it's gonna be. All right, let's place these down so I can grab them later. I made a Happy Meal level. I thought I'm making levels with each of these power-ups. Although the Goomba mask, I don't know how much fun you can do stuff with it. Also, let's not do... Wait, what theme is this? Hmm. Kind of like this theme. Maybe we'll stick with this one. First thing is first. You know, let's start off with the... Uh, let's start off with a nice little... Uh, this is hard. Here, let's start off with this. We'll put... Can you fall? Yeah, you can fall. Perfect. Wow, it looks straight at you when it's in the parachute. Look at it. It's looking it's looking directly in the windows of your soul. I said I said bitch. <laughs> I wish I could see the clear con. Hold on, wait, let's do save. Save real quick. Uh let's call it one for now. Okay, one thing I want to test real quick is if we if we put the clear con on. I, I have a big big brain play here. We have you not be anywhere near the clear con for like three seconds. If I play this. All right, so if we like do things in the bottom of the screen, assuming I have the clear con on, then it's not the end of the world because we can see what we're doing. That's the only, only reason I hate the clear cons in the beginning. It just obscures the half the screen and it's annoying. All right, so for now we'll, we'll have this clear con in. I missed, we'll move you over. I'm like gonna put a ceiling here just so in case the clear con exists it will just be there and not annoying. The bright news will probably be able to play as a Happy Meal again, and that's uh, pretty hype. We well, put some falling icicles here. Sure, why not? You're now wincing the creative papega known as my brain. Should we do this? Then we'll make you like land on it. Maybe I'll make this higher, a little higher. One thing I gotta keep in mind is you can actually wall jump off the bottom of this. Example A, you see a wall up there, big brain idea, move it up one. Now a wall doesn't exist here, problem solved. I gotta figure out why you do that. Time to bring out the, the creeper, little creeper vines, these guys. They like to play sometimes, they just like to say what up. Yeah, it's a little too close. Gotta keep in mind, you can only have 10 of these creepers. Five in each world, subworld, whatever you want to call it. I gotta make it blue so it stays down there. I don't want to use these guys too many, too much, because again, they only get five of them in each uh, worldy. The other thing is, uh, technically you can just bounce here. Like, I guess I'll do this. Well, I guess that wouldn't really help you, would it? Alright, we're throwing the indicators. P block is a good place to do that, sure. I think we move this one higher, because why not? Dang, if this was like half a block lower, problem solved, boom. There. 
Now we're gonna try to cheese it, I guess. I don't think he cheeses. Mm, do I make this higher? Oh yeah, that's what I should do. We'll just put pokies here. Actually, no, no, no. Our boy making a grand appearance here. How you doing, buddy? This is hard. Ah, you are staying there. No, oh, I killed him. This is already really hard. <laughs> Great start, I know, right? Ah! Think of the thwomp? That's too easy, dude. That's no. You're you're, you're funny. See, it's it's easy. Look, that was the free trick of my life. It wasn't even hard. And then we'll make you hit an on-off block. Uh, let's make it a little lower. Just only get two blocks. And now you can wall jump off this, and it'll drop a uh, I don't know. What's the next power point I use? Happy meal. We wanna do some happy meal action. All right, we'll see if I nerf that. All right. If I nerf it, then I will be sad because I don't want to nerf this. This is so hard. Ah! Aha! There we go. Look at that. Can I hit this and wall jump at the same time? Uh, let's do this for now. I guess I can. Wait, does that count to losing the clear con? Okay, it doesn't. The thing is, you get iframes anyways. I guess it doesn't really matter. I, I, I would... I guess it doesn't really matter if you have iframes or not. Ah! This is so hard. If I nerf it, I make it a thwomp. But for now, we're using the icicle because, I don't know, I just want it. All right, we're making some schmoovage here. A little bit of some schmoovage. Can I make these fall? Let's see what this looks like. No, you no. Oh, I guess I'm making like a making like a red pipe here. Yeah. Okay, we're getting progress here. Wait, does this have wings and a parachute? Oh, what the heck? Oh, what does it look like then when I do this? I see. Okay. Well, we'll keep the. I guess ha having wings doesn't make a difference, but we'll do that. See, the, the good thing is I made this the very first trick, so it's not as bad. If I made the last trick, I would probably nerf it. Oh, you son of a... Ugh. That still worked. Wow. Ooh. We get another one. I don't want that. I don't know if I want to... Let me do something real quick. Throwing a gentle slope? You guys don't expect that. Dang. Throwing this side, too. The double gentle slope. Oh, man. I might change this, but for now, let's see if we can get, get to work. Oh! See, if it went to the left first, that would be perfect. But it goes to the right and I get sad. And I can also do this. Oh, what? It kills the... Wait, what? I guess we'll just put a big ceiling here. That would be bong your head to get that. Okay, it's too far to the left. All right. And we'll make you a nice little blue, and we'll do some more stuff. What we'll do, I don't know. We'll figure it out. There we go. All right. And we'll put a little indicator on where to go. Or maybe we go underneath, actually. Let's go underneath everything. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it again. We're throwing in the gentle slope. Oh, boy. Dang. You believe that? No one expects the gentle slope. Or me dying. I just got destroyed. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can like indicate that this is about to shoot out a P uh, a little happy meal. Let's go boop. Look at that. That 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 that'll help. I hope. Kinda like that. Kinda crisp. I'm gonna throw like a little icicle there. Too early! I gotta like delay a little. A little nerf. Very mild nerf. It's not really uh, yeah, I guess it's a little nerf. Just just a small one, right? Oh, I gotta delay it a little. But do I wanna force you to delay it? I might make that a, a green pipe instead. Let's make it a let's make it a green pipe slightly faster. Ten foot fans? I guess that works. We're gonna bring out our boy uh the poke the poke master? No, not yeah, we'll, we'll keep our boy the skip skip squeak here. There'll be a vibe oh, oh goodness. He's just gonna be here. He's gonna say hi. Alright. No, our boy. 
So we're back in the predicament where it's like what needs to be indicated and there's always going to be people like that that jump's not indicated why is that jump indicated when that one isn't and my philosophy on indication is i only indicate it well i'll indicate it if i feel it's beneficial to have as in it doesn't like get to the point where this, there's so many indicators that you don't know what to do anymore because there are levels where there every single jump is indicated and that's just overwhelming but i think things that need to be indicated are blind jumps for example if you need to spin but you don't know you need to spin because what you need to spin on is off screen that should definitely be indicated some things that are not completely straightforward which again is very subjective but i guess like this icicle thing it's a good example this is kind of debatable if you want to wall jump it or, or indicate it that's why i'm not going to indicate this i think this one is self-explanatory but i might do it anyways we'll see as barb says it you want to hold your hand but you also don't want to make it a 50 50 in certain cases yes take notes Well, I might, because you don't know that you have to... Uh, a little cannon, cannon blaster here. I don't even think I'm going to make you use it three times. Make you use it once or twice. We'll see. Let's put this here for now. I'm tending to just make this a yellow pipe, actually. Because everyone's first instinct isn't to, like, wait there. They want to wall jump immediately. So I might do that instead. Now I got to figure out what this does. I don't even know if I want to keep the big block there. I might just make it like a regular block. You know what, let's indicate this jump. Why not? we will be nice. Here, so what I'll do instead, actually. If I drill... Oh, I gotta test this, actually. Alright, so I just want to make sure that when you propel up, it doesn't, like, hit the on-off block a billion times. So that's fine. So then what we're gonna do here is we'll have a on-off block. So that way, you know, you, can, you only have to hit it once. And that way, you can, you can go to... Uh, actually, is this clear? If you can see the blocks, that's all that matters. I'll also still have to make sure that you can't just use this guy underneath the level. All right, so you can get here with the bullet. You can wall jump. Will that help you? You can get underneath this, but well, there won't be a way to get back up. Hopefully. Hopefully. Also, I think the on-off block has to be swapped. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, it has to be swapped. Yo, new tech. Check this out. Boom. Wait. Boom. Look at that. Yeah, Bay Bay Blitz. Unfortunate cheese, man. You hate to see it. Does this go through the cannon? Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I'm walking the dangerous territory and it's almost over indicated, but for now we'll, we'll leave these here. Will this break the on off? Here we go. Oh. I think I'm gonna put a clear pipe here. Don't miss. This part's probably a little unclear for now, but hold on, let me move this goal over here. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Gentle slope, one doubt. Boom. You love the gentle slope. We haven't used this yet, and we haven't used the Goomba mask yet. I'm gonna figure out some good applications for them. No, I still have to make sure that you can't just cheese the very beginning with this guy. I, I airballed that. Big whiff by your boy. I might make it higher though, actually. If I wanna make sure you can't cheese it, I would put a red coin like throughout. But just for now, let's see. What can we do? I don't want to use this guy yet. Maybe we'll go back to the go back to the bullet bill. We might have to take out our boy right here. It might have to be done. Technically could wall jump here, but I don't think it matters if you do. It's up to you, I guess. Oh wait, I jumped underneath him? Wait, that's kind of sick. I do that again. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to kill him. Like he's a worthy sacrifice. Oh, wait, new idea. So this guy you kill, and then you, you go you go over this guy. Yeah, that's that's the plan. If I go, if that works out, I'm gonna pop off. If it doesn't work, then I'll be sad. No. Oh boy. I mean, we don't really need this. I'm gonna just do this instead. Now I can move this over. There you go. I might have to move these indicators a little. That. Oh. I knew you could do it. Wicked, dude. That was wicked. The only thing that's not really indicated is shoot. Maybe I just let you figure that out yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Coins. There. Shoot at the coins. That's so hard. We're gonna bring out our second piranha creeper here. What does this look like? They're vibing. They're, they're just chilling. Now I gotta figure out when they spawn. I really should like make a note. I'm pretty sure it's like 15 blocks away. I want them to spawn when I'm roughly here. Oh, that's actually perfect. Okay, wait, this might be in the perfect location. No, you're too early. Get there a little later. Perfect. Now, now, now you're good. 
No naked piranha creepers here. They're just chilling. Yo, trying to buff it a little? A little buff action? Don't miss? You miss? You suck? All right, now let's, you know, for the people, they're like, why don't you just take, take it in the building? We're gonna do that. We're gonna see if we can cheese it in any, any way possible. I don't think you're cheesing any of this. If you do, then I guess you deserve it. Like, there is absolutely no way to get up. You find a way up, then you're a you're god dang genius. Even if you, like, propel here, and then you have to go underneath this anyways, and you're not, you're not getting up. Or right, hit these blocks, and then something will fall, I guess. You like my style of Kaizo? My style of Kaizo is weird, dude. It's, like, janky. I know I complain about jank, but half the reason I keep my jank in it is because the trick is so god dang cool that I'm like, whatever. I'll ha I'd will rather have people complain, and they, they get to witness how awesome this trick looks. Not all of it's janky, though. Usually I have to, like, nerf it so it's not janky. Or, it, it, like, even if you do different things, it'll still work. What I happens mean, if I put a bob bomb here? Mmm, we have some some things to do here. Also, you cannot carry things when you have a helmet. So what if I gave you like a Goomba mask and then you had to juggle something? Let me get a big bomb on. Chonky boy. Oh, are you gonna break both these blocks if I do this? No. Although this part of them might not work because the bottom does not get enough height. And it goes too far. So we may have to make adjustments. Long jump? Did not work. I have an idea, but hold on. Let me see if I can make this work. This would be stupid if I made you do this. It's actually kind of dumb. I might I might do that in a future part. I don't even know. Let's do that in a future part. Not this part. This part, we'll, we'll do something not that. We'll bring out the Goomba mat. Do I want to bring out the Goomba? Dude, it's so hard to make the Goomba mat do something fun. How about the Red Pal box? Can you hit a box that is uh coming off a conveyor? You do that. Will you bonk the noggin and make an explosion? I'm at. That would be sick if you could do that. I was about to do some some big names right there. What if I make you hit Bum Bum? Hey Bum Bum, how you doing? We're just gonna make you die now. Dang it, dude. Can you not hit anything? Can you imagine you, just, you hit a falling Bum Bum? Can't even do that. What about the car? Can you hit a car? That'd be really funny, actually, if you could hit a car. Come on. I go through the car! I have iframes. Let me just double check. I'm so mad. That should have killed him. I went through him and, he, and I took damage. This is proving to be a not a good power up to use. New plan. All right. I have a plan. We're going to make the red pal do something. Okay. You guys are prepared because I'm still thinking about it at, at, at this moment. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I actually just thought something completely new. Hold on. Wait, developments. And if this doesn't work, then this game sucks. Here we go. Okay. That might work. We got, we got some, some potential right here. Okay, cool. We can do something like that. The donut block saves the day, but we're not gonna use it yet, all right? We're actually, instead of using the donut block, we're gonna be using the snake block instead. All right, a little different kind of block. I guess we'll make it go in a straight line. It might be the easiest way. I kinda wanna use icicles instead, but I might just use the snake, uh, these guys. What, has, what does that have to be? Has to be, yeah, blue block. Blue on blue action here. And then, what happens to this guy? Is the pokehead gonna fall off? No, just that all falls off. That means it's time for our boy. How you doing, buddy? You're gonna get murdered again. I'm sorry. It's got. It's got to be like that. We'll use our, this guy's a little platform here. You know, he, he'll just exist in the world. So I gotta find a way to transition from this part to here. I'll figure that out. Don't worry. We'll, we always figure out something. The other thing is I gotta force you to do this, right? Because if you technically you can just blind her here. Actually, can I? Maybe, maybe, maybe you can't even get up here. I, might, I think you can get up here just with this wall drum. Oh wait. I, okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, it has to be a little higher. We could stack it, I guess. I think this is still too short. Uh, if this was a little higher, this would be poggers in the waters. Actually, what if I do this? Alright, it has to be about three blocks higher, I'd say. Honestly, four to be safe, but... Perfect! Now we have to test it from further back to make sure this doesn't... Because this will spawn before this. It's the only issue I see. So we got to test it from the beginning. 
Okay, the setup's looking pretty good so far. Look at that. It works, but it's hard as balls. It works. This level's really hard, dude. Guess what? We will even have a little coin trail right here. Boom. I tell you that you have to land right here. And you wall jump back. On the bright side, this is definitely a pit level. Fast level, nah, no shot. No! Okay. I can actually make this harder. Boom! Nerfed it. Or we buffed it a little. We made it slightly harder. On the bright side, there is no jank yet. I say yet, because I might put some in. I lied, there's jank right there. <laughs> I think it spawned too early. I make that slow boy. A little slow boy there. Alright, it spawned too early. No! Come back! Actually, we're gonna make it a chonky boy. You're gonna be a thicky. Little thick skis. There's one thing I want to do. I want to block this off completely because um, you might be able to make it on top of there. So what we're going to do here is a little five-head play. We're going to blow this block up when you're here. So you go wall jump and then you get to here and this block's going to blow up. How's it going to blow up? Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll figure it out. It'll probably murder our boy too. I'm sorry. Or bigger brain play. I reverse this. Where's the pow? Here we go. Boom. All right, I'm within proximity of the thwomp. It'll blow all this up, and now you can wall jump off this. Boom. There you go. Because it has to it has to murder our, this guy. I'm murdering a lot of our boys here. The lost casualties, man. Quick buff. Boom. Another spike. All right, we got the creative juices flowing, though. We have the, we got the juice. All right, now, now this is starting to look more like a level. I guess for the last part, we're making you, can make you wall jump. Like, off the side of it, too. Still looking like a level that's hard, maybe fun to watch other people play and not fun to play yourself because it's hard. No. Okay, so this is the problem. This this guy, he extends too late now because he spawns late. So I guess I'll do this again. Hmm. Actually, hold on. Maybe I could maybe get away with like this. How many bonks? Let me check. One bonk, two bonks, three bonks. I want it to be four bonks, which means I probably have to extend it one more. So it doesn't spawn until I get to here, which is like right before I wall jump. So one bonk, two bonk, three bonk. So yeah, that bagged me the four bonker, which is perfect. But the problem is it doesn't spawn in time. Let's try. Come back! I actually think you can make it through this. I could definitely make it through there. Why are these down one? I guess because you can go underneath. Now you cannot. Is this indicated right? Or do I have to move this all down one? I gotta pay attention. Okay, yeah, that's, that's roughly where, yeah. I'm trying to think if I have to nerf this. Not really nerf it, but can I can I even do this? This is looking like a multiple hour clear for the beast. Actually, no, maybe like, maybe like two hours. I like how I use the beast as a measurement of how hard it is. I think if the beast can clear on one of my levels in under an hour, blind. That, that's It's a pretty, a fairly easy level. Between an hour and two hours, that's when it's like uh, challenging. Anything over two hours is really hard. And this one's probably an hour to two hour range for him. How did I, how did I take damage there? I think that's how I took damage. Does it hit the piranha? Hold on. We shall raise this up one. Okay, now it shouldn't reach that, I think. Let's find out. Well, it doesn't reach. All right, perfect. So I just had to move everything up one. Oh man, is it too, wait, now it's too high, I think. Gonna like that. I have to move it down again, I think. I think I can make this consistent. Maybe. But the prom plane getting hit by that is not what we like to see, unfortunately. Like that worked, but See, that's the problem. Sometimes it'll hit the the pal will hit the piranha creeper. So here's an example of some jank, which sucks. This idea is kind of cool in my head. It's such a cool idea, man. I see if there's any way to make it consistent. I guess if I move this over, maybe if you hit exactly at the P. No, why you got me janky? I'm upset, dude. I'm actually really sad about this. If only the, the range was one block, or if the radius was one block less. Because I can't raise this up, because then you can't even reach it. Unless... I'm reaching it. This might work, actually. Why was I not hitting it before? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you hit the side of it, you don't get enough height. You have to, like, lean in the middle, which isn't really that hard to hit. I say that as I mess up. I might leave this in, because this isn't really janky. You just have to lean in the middle, and it's a decent window. Final verdict. We're gonna, we're gonna go with, uh, not janky. We have reached our decision. We're gonna have a little small boy in the middle, dude. This guy, he's, he's just gonna be vibing right there. Oh, that works. It's time to bring out our boy Pokey. The Pokey's coming out to play. They actually work as another reason, and that is you're less likely to get your ground pound dropped because you're not allowed the ground pound if you're a stern amount above a, a block, and as you like cut the corner, like you go like this, right? When you go like this around a block, it'll eat your ground pound half the time. But since this block's down here, and you gotta go the same trajectory, right? Like if we had a, if we had this here, there's the spikes, it would eat your ground pound. But now you're above the ground, it's not gonna eat your ground pound. All right, works as double. It's also an obstacle and a nice quality of life thing. Take notes. Now let's do it from the top, see what it looks like. No! That's one of these start to finish ones. Actually, before I do that, remember that bomb part we were doing with the, the, the bullet bill launcher? I think it's time to bring it back here. I think we're gonna do it. It'll, it'll be a, a cool transition if this works. Which is, you, you, you break the blocks right here with your head. You got a little, him, him with a noggin. No, it broke it! Heck. Maybe not. You hate to see it. Um, I could do this. Or maybe we don't have the bomb on part yet. Maybe instead we uh, do the little cannon or feller. Because we haven't done... What have we done? We gotta do a cannon or a feller. We haven't used a feller in a while or a cannon. Or a Goomba. We haven't used a Goomba mask. But I don't really see good reason to use a Goomba mask. You just blew up the bomb bomb. Okay, cool, fine. I think what we do is we might have to do a feller into you. Do, you do feller into uh, the cannon, the bullet bill. I think that's what you gotta do. So you go into you go happy meal into uh, this, and then you, you have fun. Oh ho ho! Yeah, yeah, you do that. So we could have a happy meal part or cannon box blaster part, and the happy meal into that. Yeah, 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 we'll do that next time though. So let's let's play over here. We're gonna do one more use of our little little uh, guy here. You know, make it trigger an on-off block, so I can like bonk. So you go boink, and it triggers an on-off block like here, and it's gonna be delayed intentional, a little intentional delay, so that way I can have the on-off block state swap. We're gonna go a little like, like this. Go boom. I don't even know what state has to be in. Was it be ah? Oh, it's gonna be off. So these have to be red. And then we'll do a nice little up arrow. Just you know, no, no need to bonk your head there. Another indicator here. Jump boom. All right, perfect. I'm not gonna bet that ground pound because that's probably your first reaction. I'm gonna start from here. I'm gonna put, put a boo here. Boom. You just have some boos there. They're, they're, they're just there to say hi. Let's add some more. They're just here, man. They, they just want to say hi. No, we killed the boo. No! Dang. The booze, they died. I mean, I, technically, I could use these guys instead. Alright. I think this will work, too. No. Cheese? Cheese? I mean, technically, you could just go here, and then the product would that help you in any, any way, way possible. Now it definitely won't. Now there's no shot. No! That's what I... I it's so unfortunate, man. So much for not being janky. Nice. So one thing we'll have to keep in mind is if there's a bit, if there's a way to make this part better. Because for you to hit this block up top, you have to land in the like just somewhere in the middle. But there's a way to make it slightly easier. I will. All right. So one thing I want to do is I want to fix this part. So unfortunately, the piranha plant does not give you enough height to bonk the snake block, and I'm actually extremely sad about that. So we're gonna have to change this a little. Uh, hold on. Let me test something. This guy will he ever die? That rhymed. Only totally meant for that to rhyme. Yeah. So if the ant trooper gives you enough height to bonk a ceiling, and at the same time it won't die to the pow, as opposed to the piranha creeper, which only gives you enough height if you bounce off the very top of it. Yeah, you see you didn't get enough height there. And then if I move it up one, it'll die to the explosion if you like hit it too far to the bullet. Why are you not hitting the explosion? Okay, now I'm flabbergasted. Hold on. If that's the case, then this might work. Maybe it's because I did two bounces. 
There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think if you do a two bouncer into hitting it, it'll do it sometimes. It's actually like fantastic if that works like that. I think this is fine. I don't think I can do it. And if it can, then it's a very low chance for now. All right. Which means we can use that guy for the second half. So right here, we can go like a little bounce, bounce. Do one bounce and then bounce. And then we could bounce off something here instead. Oh, I like this instead. Hold on. Wait a minute. This might work. Now, this little part's tricky, but it's possible. Just real dang tricky, but you can definitely do it. Definitely have to uh, make some adjustments, but I want to see what I want to do first. Maybe I do make you, like, not hit it from here. I might like that better. Could work. I feel like you might be able to make it from here to here. Oh wow, it didn't even trigger. We don't like to see that. It might have been too high, which is why it didn't trigger. Which means like push us all up one. Yeah, I think it didn't trigger because I was up here. Or did I watch him too quickly? That might be because I watched him too quickly. No, I think it's because I was too high. Which means I should probably raise this all up one. A little raise here. Raise fire. A little raise. I don't need this coin to care anymore then. Okay, so I want to see if I can make it straight to the uh, Piranha Creeper, actually. Eh, maybe not, actually. Yeah, they're actually going to do this. Move this all over. Make it a little, a little tougher. Right now it's too easy. So I'll move this all over. Okay, that should look a little better now. I can actually add one more small obstacle, which is... Is it this guy? He's going to be a, lo a little obstacle. Now I got to see if that works timing-wise. He died! Way over here. Oh! Oh! Okay. Probably move you over a little. The stack! All right, that works. I actually want to make a modification here. Instead of it being red, I want it to be blue. I need to do like a long jump. Nice. A little long jump action into, into I don't know, something. This little long jump. Man's loving. Am I going to put in practice for I have no idea. Perhaps, perhaps not. No, forget the long jump. All right, I think this part's consistent now. Oh! No! I might put our boy instead, because the pokies go back and forth. Our boy getting, getting the spotlight here. Hey, buddy. I want to nerf this part by raising it up. Nerfing? Well, a small nerf, all right? Just, just, just a tiny one. This part's already way harder than it, <laughs> than it was before. I wonder if this will work. What if I do this, huh? A little cheese? If you somehow make it up there, with that, I'd be really impressed, actually. There's ground pound indicators here because it's not clear that a wall is going to exist here. Like, there's nothing here, so telling the person ground pound ahead of time is like, oh, okay, cool. But here, you already see there's a wall here. It exists. It doesn't move. This is how this wall works. Like, honestly, half the stuff here doesn't need to be indicated. This doesn't really need to be indicated. These don't really need to be indicated. These are, I guess, quality of life. I don't want to put too many because then it just overstimulates the person. And you're just like, wow, this is too many indicators. I don't know what to do anymore. But I don't have one here. I have a 10 here, right? This one's for the fans. But I don't, I don't even really need this. I, I really don't need all of these. Like this one right here. That's the problem with like levels now. You guys just want and every every little thing to be indicated. And as soon as something's not, you just like bad level. You really should indicate stuff that would make the player go WTF. This is blind without it. You're not gonna hold the player's hand on every single jump and every single thing. I suck. This part's hard. I already have more indicators than I want. There we go. Finally, that was hard. Yeah, the ice goals are a bit hard to see. That's why I kind of have these indicated. I want to move this up. Dude, we're going to do it again. The gentle slope? Oh, man. There it is. Oh, boy. The up and down? Now I got to throw in a little cannon box. So I can kind of practice from here. Making a practice is going to be so hard because you can't really, like... Oh, I got to get rid of this. I would have to, like, duplicate the room because it's not a good place to pause and be like, here, it's practice. I'll figure it out later, I guess. All right. Practice store will be in the back of my mind. I, c I could just be mean and be like, no, just no practice store. But I'll, I'll, just, I'll see if I can fit one in. But for now, we can we can uh, work from here and design. So let's just go here. 
I missed. Oh, I have to do this too. That's the other thing. The Ana swap, the Ana stance to be ready. I might use, did I say this? I might use the Guma Mask just to troll. <laughs> to be honest, they, they really, it's really hard to make it useful in a Kaizo level and make it look cool. So I'm just going to leave it back here for now. We're bringing out the B movie. I guess something will fall here. Maybe. Man, the little design's hard. I'm pretty sure this pal's gonna bounce on my head because I saw a little use that mechanic. But I just want to double check. Oh, I killed it. We don't like that. Oh my god, it's so hard. <laughs> what if I make you hit it in midair? Wait, hold on. I have an idea now. So the thing that sucks is I want this to be kind of lenient because right now it's pretty strict when you shoot because you have to hit two blocks with each hit. So this is kind of a, a sick idea if I can do it. But it's also balls hard. First, we gotta do some testing. What? That hit that box. Okay, maybe not. Maybe, maybe we we go with uh, or bring it out. I guess the clear pipe works too, cause it it'll be very clear that you have to not get it clear that you uh have to shoot it in there. We need to shoot it twice, twice in here to do something. And then the third time it's uh okay. Hold on, let's see what this looks like. Okay, still hit it. Okay, this could work. So you shoot it three times in here. I'll indicate this later, but and then the third time you sh. This is gonna be the hardest part. You you shoot the cannonball at the pal, and then you pick up the happy meal. Oh, okay, it worked. But I okay, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, hold your horses. It's kind of sick. Okay, this lines up perfectly. Actually, this is kind of nuts. It was a little calculated by my part. I I, I knew that balancing off the B movie and shooting on the way up, doing a full jump and ground pound canceling and shooting at here would, would, would work. I knew that would work. Yeah. Oh my God. Now we have to work on indicating this as, as much as we can. It's, that's the next challenge we'll do. But this is actually sick AF. And it's consistent. But good luck, uh, and how am I gonna convey this, man? Sheesh. Do we hit this with the two? Or do we do two P blocks? Or neither. That's a pretty crisp AF2, though, I'm not gonna lie. Rate right the word two. Well, one thing I need to do is I have to do this. That way, you have to hit the on off block for a specific reason. I mean, technically, the ant does that job already. Nah, we'll, we'll leave it like this. And then we get to do the fun part after. You do Happy Meal into, into the really dumb part that I wanted to do, which is this. You guys aren't prepared for this really dumb part. <laughs> this part's nonsense. But it's also really funny, but also sick. Anyway, so some indication we have. Uh, I'd probably need the ground pound cancel here. This is so hard to indicate. Let me just look what this looks like. Ah, yes, I'm completely incorrect. It's supposed to be the complete opposite because I'm a dum dum. So this is this is this is a good uh, example of what what should be indicated. <laughs> this is definitely a part that needs to be indicated to, to some degree. I missed. Technically, you know what? All right, <sighs> a little nerf. Potential nerf. I'm sorry, fans. I kind of want to raise this all up a little, though. Raise this all up one, because uh, the Happy Meal's a little off screen. So let's raise it all up one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is actually... Okay, the fans are going to be a little happy here. So we can actually place a 30 coin here, because that will entice the player to, to collect it, which will make the timing, like, consistent. There you go. And then the next one will be a 50. <laughs> and then we get the dumb part. Let's go. What's the power achieved? That's what we're gonna figure out right now. Either a brick wall or maybe a giant thwomp. Maybe a giant thwomp. Or we can do some more booze. A wall of booze. When in doubt. Or a peepa. No, we won't do peepa. The stack. Make it a little more, a little, little harder. Not only harder, but more like hopefully clear on what to do. Okay, okay, okay. You see that? Consistent AF, dude. I really want to get rid of this one, but I'm going to make it slightly easier. Just, just, a, I don't even think you can, well, maybe you can probably hit it. Someone will probably find a way to hit it, but can't tell you how exciting I'm for this dumb, this really dumb part. <laughs> uh, it's going to be so funny. The thing is, you could technically go underneath the booze. Unless I put a wall or coin blocks or something. I'll, I'll figure that out later. For now, let me just do some stuff. You can't even see this part, but I'm going to make it look clean because it bothers me a little. 
If I put invisible blocks, yeah, but I don't want to do that. I put them here though, so you can't get above here for whatever reason. You do this, but then you can wall jump off the bottom. Like, how do you get there? But what are you going to wall jump with? And then here's another one where we'll have to do like a little left or right. And then you have to carry the bob bomb. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be a little funny. It's gonna be really funny to see. Technically, this is cheese proof. The only way it's not really cheese proof is if you somehow get the cannon, this guy, this power up that you get over here. So if you get from here with this power up all the way to here with the same power up, I'll be really impressed. I guess what we can do is this. And then we'll put all coin blocks here. And then we'll have our boy be inside each one of these guys, I guess. Just for an extra safety precaution. More anti-cheese measures. Now you can't really get underneath from here. You'd have to get the can the cannon launch. What is this? The, the cannon power up above here somehow. And if you manage to do that, you're a god dang genius. We even do that too. Because you have to go because this will be here and you have to go underneath it or above it. Or you can't go underneath it. You have to go above it. But my levels are notoriously known for getting cheese and I don't care. I do care, but I also don't because people will watch my video and be like, this is really cool. And they want someone cheese and they're like, nope, I like that guy better because it looks cooler. Alright, if you get underneath here somehow. then you can't really land on them because they'll be there. The only way is if they despawn or you kill them with the cannon box or the pow. And at that point, I don't know, I'm just sad. Or, I don't, that's as much de-cheesing I'm doing for now. <laughs> this part is so stupid, but I love it. Now we'll have to lower a little because every time you go back and forth, you have to let go of jump, which means you fall slightly. So we'll keep that in mind. How much space do we have left? Ooh, the end's close, and I actually have an idea of what we do next. Remember that donut block part I was showing you? I think we're gonna we're gonna introduce that next. And then maybe one more part, and then we're done. Well, then I have to make the dev route, and I have to make a name. Anyways, we gotta make this Happy Meal part more eventful. Maybe put some ant troopers here. They're just gonna be vibing here, sure, why not? I'm really sad that I can't put this in the middle, because it technically should be in the middle, but I can't. But if I use an arrow, to will line up. But should I use an arrow to keep the... What if I do that instead? Maybe it looks better. It's, it's, it's so hard. Eh, that might work. Where'd this guy go? There's only two of you. What? Fine, do that. Be that way. How about the big boy? Okay, the big boy does that. The consistency on the shot, though. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I'm popping off. I definitely need to indicate where it lands, though. I have a feeling people are going to get unnecessarily mad at this part. But there's nothing really janky about it. But it's really funny. But I know people are going to get mad at that part for whatever reason. The jankiest part is the very first shot. Like this part right here. That's the, that's the hardest one. So I'm trying to make this the most consistent part for you. And after that, the rest of this, is, this really isn't that bad. Yeah, so as, if I can somehow make this more consistent, because right now it's... Well, I mean, technically the path is consistent, but you you have more variabil variability at this part based on where you hit this. So I just have to make this part easier for you, and then this part itself is not bad. So this is the part we have to work on fixing. But I don't want to nerf it to the ground, but I... We may have to. I think the best way for this to be, not really janky, but not getting angered by people that play it is the bomb has to get here before you do. And then I have to have it chill here. So that way you always hit it to the right. Because the only problem with this part is sometimes you get here too early and then you have to awkwardly do a left or right. So if I can make the bob bomb fall here first, maybe I make you like fall down a little more. Is this gonna work though? That's the next question. I might have to move the icicles up. Yeah, they have to move this over. Like here. I have to add some more indicators for now, but I just want to see if this works. Okay, yeah, I definitely have to move this all up. People are going to complain about that part. They're, 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 everyone complains about it. Well, it's fine. I do it because it's fun. I might nerf this again, though. We'll see, because it's still pretty tricky. Pretty lenient, man. Too lenient? I wouldn't say it's too lenient. I think that's fine, though. Well, first things first, we do need to add a bit of indication here. Like, boom. Boom. Maybe there. 
it's not dummy pro anymore it's now now it's less dumb more consistent less dumb still hard less dumb i'm not gonna make this part strict though in terms of how long you have to keep this like you see you see right here i'm starting to fall fall down i'm not gonna go max distance but yeah that's a good good start here now it's time to bring out our friends the pokies they haven't been here often honestly and now we're gonna bring them out they're out here to play what's up buddies and just in case we'll have more of this here i guess so you're not gonna be below here at any point either regardless you're only putting one here will probably be the best case and then you can probably get the idea from here maybe instead of falling icicles we'll do like a creeper piranha creeper he'd be creeping he's coming to get you i just might i might just make you wall jump honestly nice little long jump there wall jump i even cut that close you see how close i was to touching these spikes now i can do a b movie if we want there a nice little b movie right here perfect no it killed the other b yay hey that blue lived i guess it's fine that guy lives let's add another pokey why not poke masters Mm, too bad for now. Good news is that we're like 90% done if you don't count the Dever out. See the goals like right here. Very close. So close. The pokey fell off. Wow. I don't know why, but maybe let's do this. I put this here, actually. Instead of a Pokemon. Poke Master. And you wall jump off of it. I guess that works. Gotta make it higher though. Um, I guess I can test it from here, actually. Let me test. Can I long jump and hit the, the roof? Oh, nice. Let me do a long jump. I do, uh, what else can go back and forth? Do hard blocks go back and forth? They do. Maybe I do hard block here, and then the donut block will be, like, up here. Like that. Wow, it goes back pretty far. We're going to have to change this part, I think. I don't know if we're going to keep this, but... For now, it works. Thing is, it's blind fall. That's why I wanted to see if you'd see the icicle before we get here. Yeah, homies don't like the blind falls. So we'll see if we can fix this. If only the screen scroll like stopped up here. I mean, they can see this icicle. Just kind of sag moment. We're gonna have to modify this part a bit, but I'm just gonna see what it looks like together. You might be actually see this. If you can see this, then it's not blind. We'll see. Heck. Heck. Well, you can see this, at least. I guess ideally I would have it like this. Then you could definitely see it. Oh, now you can definitely see it if it's like that. Perfect. So now it's not blind. Well, 50 there, too. As a purpose. Extends the, the, the you know, sight. I'm going to change the flying part a little as well. So I'll do something like that. Maybe instead of this part, we'll get you. I don't want you to go too high so you can see this. We'll be over here. We'll do something in between there. Pretty sure this one will not activate. Now it will. We we'll back a little. Then we'll uh, make you hit your head here for some reason. What reason you say? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Then a little steep slope for the fans. I wonder if this will, uh, will this trigger both. Let's see. New idea here. All right, let me see what this looks like. I could do ground pound cancel there. Yeah, I need to move this, move this down so you can see this part. We have a naked creeper there. Oh, 
I mean, that works. I'm actually gonna do this instead. Let's move this all over one. Let's do this, make it slightly easier. Throw in a slope for the fans. Make these guys regular ice, I guess. All right, this one actually kind of needs a Z indicator. Ready? I'm gonna hit you with the Z right here. You don't expect it. Oh, all right. Looking pretty good so far. Huge. All right. And we have a Z. You guys want the Z? There you go. A little Z action. We'll also do this, I guess. I think ice skills might work. And then if for whatever reason you have the bullet launcher here, we'll just do this so you can't go above. So you have to somehow get through the booze. If you can go underneath, you can't get the happy meal. Is there any way you can get through this without taking damage? I feel like not. Well, I think this part works now. You know what? Instead, I might do this. Just have like a piranha creeper coming down, saying hi. He's like, what up? He just wants to say hello, you know? Sometimes you just want to say hi. Okay, you said hi way too early though. Oh, it's saying bye now. That's like fine. Everything's fine. See? Bonk? Let's make these regular. Yo, more record strat? I mean, you could do that if you want, but it's up to you. I'm just gonna move this all over one. Actually, why don't I just put a put one more little boo here? He's just vibing there. He just wants to say hi. He's just he's just there. All right, I think this is fine for now. Now let's just make the ending. This ending, I don't even know what I want to do, dude. Figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, kind of just BSing stuff right now. To be honest with you. Is it time to, to, to put the, the Goomba hat in? Hello, Goomba. Pretty sure the swamp's gonna get triggered anyways, but let's see what happens. Just a small Goomba. Actually, I might do this. Let me do that. So that way you can't really go underneath here. You just get stuck here, and then here, that, that does not really matter if you... <laughs> Technically, if you want, you can like, I don't know. You can do this in some weird order, I guess, but I want you to be fast. The setting is just, it's not supposed to be hard, it's just supposed to look kind of snazzy. That's why I'm just gonna like end there. It's, it's not really supposed to be tricky. And I put in a Goomba hat. Finally use all five power-ups. The Goomba hat is just for not really anything. I missed the cannon. I mean, it'll stop these swamps from going, so it does have some purpose, actually. It's got, it's got a purpose. It, it exists for a reason, because otherwise you would get cron straps. Uh, technically, wouldn't. I don't know. It's just meant to be an easy, flashy partner, right? And the end is a Goomba. You only kill more booze and our boys instead. Yo, that's hard to kind of maneuver, though. It's like pretty input the intensive. I said it wasn't hard. It's kind of hard. You could probably take your time and make it easier, but we're trying to go fast here, all right? Maybe not. The level length is too much. I wish I could make the level a little longer because now this isn't all in the way. Here, we might do this. We're going to raise this all up a little. This level is actually insanely hard, kind of. I feel like if you don't have the Goomba mask, you'll probably die here. Perhaps. Don't worry, a THX will exist. Just you wait. So it isn't that hard, actually. I lied, it's really hard. It's almost so hard. Easiest level ever. Dude, this level is so, so free. Technically, you don't really need the Goomba mask, but whatever. Like, if you, if you try to avoid it. I only have one-way gates here. That would be great. I could just crunch you right there. Yeah, have fun taking your time now. Well, you, you, you still can if you want to go back. Don't even get the top. Sometimes you don't get the top, man. No juice. Hey, you get the juice at the beginning, all right? We're gonna... What if I hide the nub? No, I won't hide... Ooh, I could I could hide the nub. Oh, no. No, I'm not gonna hide the nub. I can't do it. I think this is fine for an ending. Let's just throw in a THX. Or we're gonna be a little fancy. Different colors. Gonna be fancy with it. The Goomba, man, that's not a lot gonna happen. I just, you just end this Goomba. It's fine. T's kind of hard to see. Yeah, it is. We'll use question mark blocks, I guess. Fancy with it. Boom. You want to be even more fancy? Oh, throw it at an angle, man. Oh, man. Look at that. All right, let's test it from here. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna mess up the ending. 
not gonna lie i think i'm gonna mess it up but now it works let's reconstruct all right there's a wall here It'll be more fancy here you wall jump here and here actually maybe put a actually do this instead yeah you wall jump on these guys so you bonk your head on these guys perfect anything else that you need to wall jump off of and eh, that 10 coin will, will give you the, the idea actually what if we do this boom wall jump there i'll jump here don't need these indicators anymore whatever uh we need to figure that one out you'll also figure this one out and if you don't then I, i've given you as much indication as i possibly can maybe the head bonk will be great block still actually Wall jumps will be that that block. Yeah, it's fine. All right, here we go. Now we just uh, start working on the dev route. Where are my homie one ups? What happened to these guys? With the Cleary, I don't know, probably 0.01. So these guys know I never beat levels myself. Put a dev pipe here. What do I even, how am I going to troll you with this dev pipe? You play as a Goomba here, and then you just walk in between a bunch of Goombas. I might do that, actually. You guys want to play as a Goomba in Mario Maker 2? Play, just find the dev route. And then, yeah, you just run in between them. You have to stay in between them. But the problem is, you just hold down right, and you get you go the same speed as them, I'm pretty sure. I was hoping it'd be, like, desert British. But, I mean, th this might work. It's And then, you, and then you need to keep the Goomba mask, because if you don't, something bad will happen. Which I will figure that out. Just, I'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. And then, just so they can't get back up boom i wonder if i can make this desert buttish if i put a conveyor will that make it any different no what if i make it a slope because then you can't press down then you could kill them never mind you can also kill them here so um i honestly don't even need the pipe genius idea now you can't do that because you'll take damage if you try to kill this man I mean, it doesn't have to be, like, right next to each other. This is fine. Because the whole point is just to meme on you. So we'll literally just do that for uh, 10 screens worth. And then at the very end, you, you'll you need to keep your Goomba masks. Because a Thwomp will crush you. If you don't, it'll, it'll, it'll just crush you. Is there any way I can kill these guys? So let me just see. Add sound effects. You're right. Bring out the piggies. Every single block. It's going to be piggies. All the way there. Just as an added precaution, just make this all spikes above, just in case you can somehow kill the Goomba. Bye with the homies! Let's go. Okay. So now we just copy this for 10 screens worth. I'm not even going to test if you make it to the end for the time limit. That's <laughs> that's for people to find out. I'm just here to meme. And once you get to the end, we'll have the, 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 the Goomba mass detection mechanism. All right, so now we're here. And uh, if you don't have a Thwomp a Goomba mask, you will die. Just can't get past it. And here's the pipe. All right, let's see if we can get through here. Why make a mechanism? Because if someone decides to be like, ha, huh, I'm just gonna take damage and see what's over here. They can't even do that. They can't even check to see if the pipe works. The only way is if they actually have the Goomba mask. If it's a single thwomp, you can cheese it. You can make it by. Three thwomps? No. Make it four, just in case, you know? And then we'll put a pipe at the end. It won't actually be a pipe that works, but let's we'll put a pipe right here. Here. Here's the pipe. It blends in with the wall, too. See, this pipe is non-functional. It is half-naked, but uh, you're right. I can't leave a half-naked pipe. Half-naked pipes are... You know, you don't like to see it. All right, now the Goomba will fall down, and you can actually make it... I thought about just trolling you and be like, <laughs> you get to the end, the Goomba just runs into you. Okay, so... Can we make this pipe non-nude? There. It's non-nude now. You're welcome. The final question is, can I put a practice door for the homies anywhere? And the question, the answer is I don't want to, and I don't know if I can. No practice. You make up a practice door here. You make it let you practice this part. Maybe one practice door. I don't know if I can make you practice. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you one practice door, I think. Right here. And we'll make it a warp block. Warp block? I guess warp block? And then I have to make you take damage before you enter the warp block. Yo, perfect. We put, we give you a Guma mask. There you go. The the Guma mask is, is actually useful for something. Can you believe it? Guma mask, now, now it's the best item in the game. There. We'll do this. There. There's your practice. Now we have to come up with a name and a thumbnail shot. The thumbnail shot, I don't really care about because I don't care about any of my thumbnails. We'll put our boy in. Is that a good thumbnail shot? We got two boys. I just want to make sure that I removed everything properly. Anti-cheese too. If you somehow cheese this, I will be sad. That's okay. Do I have a 50 in here? Oh, I do. Dude, I had 1030 50. Put this in the bingo. 
Maybe I'll do this. This is a, th a threatening stack. Look at this stack of booze. So we're gonna call this Pit of Panga. And uh, time for low name ideas. Meanwhile, I will write the description. Mad Hatter, kind of like Mad Hatter, since the idea of this level revolves around uh, the different hats or power ups. Or is Masquerade? Masquerade's pretty good. I like the Mad Hatter. Mask mandate. <laughs> that spinning's really funny, actually. I might do mask mandate. Uh, it's, uh, that one's pretty high. The mask is also cool, but mask mandate's really funny. Until someone watches this video like five years from now, doesn't know what happened five years ago. Actually, you probably still know what happened five years ago. One practice. What else is critical information besides the one practice section? Let me let me check real quick. The only other like critical information I think you need to know if you can read the description, right? If you get it now, unless you can't read this, any of this, but I think the biggest thing that I see people would struggle is this long jump right here. It needs to be with momentum because you need a big boy long jump. So I'll probably say long jump with momentum at big Z. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll add that a little, little uh, spoil. Tell him not to look for cheese. <laughs> so long jump with a dash. I'm going to put it with a dash. You know, it's serious when I put the big caps. It's mainly the only info you really need. The rest is indicated well, I hope. Probably not. All right, so Mask Mandate is the name of the level. Perfect. Now let's make a backup real quick. All right, six hours and 27 minutes to make this level. Dang. Time to upload. All right, let's upload this real quick. I'm not gonna start a time yet because I need to make sure the we practice door actually wild, doesn't like let you skip. All right, so it does this. Yeah, so it's gone now. As long as the practice door like works. Okay. All right, it works. Okay, cool. Now let us start. Now we're starting. How do I miss a clear pipe when it's right there and I miss? I'm molding internally and externally. suck hey i called it didn't did, didn't i not say i was gonna mess up the end the boy part where you go underneath him There we go. Oh, I, dude, I beat it at 609. Hold on. The timer stops at 69. 609. I beat it in six minutes and nine seconds on June 9th, dude. We got the double 69. All right, that ending is... So you can take that ending slow if you want, but I think it's cool if you take it fast. I probably should turn off, like, people's abilities to change my tags, but we're just going to put tentacle and shooter. Sure. People wouldn't change my tags all the time. I really should just turn that off. All right, there it is. I'm going to write this for myself. On the bright side, my clear check times, are get, they're getting down there, as in, like, decreasing time, because I used to spend, like, half an hour plus to upload levels, but now it's, like, if I upload a level in 10 minutes, I think that's a good difficulty. Because for me, right, I, I practiced the level because I had to make it to practice. I couldn't make it unless I played the level to, you know, make sure it works. So for me, it takes 10 minutes, not a big deal. But for other people that are playing it brand new, it's going to take them hours, which is why I think 10 minutes for me is a good difficulty. It'll scale up well. If you want a good reference, this link level took me 15 minutes to upload and it took the beast five hours to beat. So that's why I say any level that takes me after making it, after practicing each section takes me like 10 minutes. I think, I think it's, a, it's a pretty well balanced difficulty. Also, quick, quick check. What are these clear rates? 0 0.01, 0 0.02. Chuck Norris has the world record. 0 0.02, 0 0.01, 0 0.02. Okay, so my prediction on this clear rate, probably 0 0.01, 0 0.02.
That's my guess. Anyways, yeah, it's been uh, literally seven months since we made a level, and I finished on 69. So it's destiny that it's going to be a good level to play. And if not, then you suck, because you can't beat soul. I'm just kidding. Alright, if you guys didn't know, we did make a little last night. Check the clear rate. Yes! Oh, someone cheesed it! No, there's cheese! The work was 21 seconds. You hate to see it, but it's 0.14. Oh well, that's how it be. You know what? The cheese is fine. It'll make the clear rate higher. I know what the cheese is. Yeah, I understand it completely. If I want to re-upload it, I might. It's kind of really easy cheese. I know exactly what they did. I'm so stupid. Yeah, you just do this, and then fly into the wall, and then you can iframe it. If only one way gates existed, I'll just put it here. I could just do this. Do you have iframes if you... Go with iframes? No practice, so I could just get rid of it. What was the other cheese they did with the, the bullet launcher? Which one? Is it this one? I might leave the bullet launcher cheese in. I think I understand maybe the, the second cheese, maybe? Second cheese is easy to fix. Just add this. You can't, you can't launch them back and forth. I'll fix these two cheeses. Any other additional cheese, probably won't fix it. Second one's not really cheese, though. That one's kind of an alternate strat. And it kind of works. Here you go. Let's do that. Beautiful. We're just going to do this because F it. No, just F it. You want to practice store? You, you do this. There you go. And then there's this one. You think you can like blow up the block here? you want i guess like this doesn't really make it easier you still have to do two wall jumps you can do that if you want i guess also i'm gonna change this because you actually i forgot you actually get iframes after you hit a pal the third time so I might as well just make this all spikes but yeah i guess if you really want to take damage here or not take damage you want to blow up the, the the bullet here all the power to you it literally does not matter and i think you do more inputs doing that so it's it's up to you, I guess. I'll do this though. We'll, uh, I'm just gonna do this, I guess. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Sure. I'm gonna get rid of this as well. A little less indicators. Well, one thing I can do actually is I'll add some more booze though. Fans love the booze. All right, you guys like booze? There you go. There's a boo. Two boos. Add all the booze. They're vibing. There, now if you break it, you're kind of screwed. No, the booze died! They died! However, I will add an indicator here because I don't want you to think that you, you're supposed to blow it up. So I'll have an up here right here. There, boom. And now I'll upload it. And if it gets cheesed, then I hate everything. And we'll try to take damage right before we uh, enter the pipe again. Just, you know, just in case. And just to make sure you, you don't think you're snazzy and you're like, huh, I hit the on-off block before I go in. If you do, you can't, you can't even uh you can't even go down. It's a block here. There you go. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna put version two in my in my title actually for the soul. Great, now the YouTube video adds five minutes because I had to de-cheese it again. Because someone cheesed it. And now I feel bad for Shun, because Shun got first clearness level. Now he has to do it again. Alright, let's upload this real quick. Again. Version 2. That's what you've done. You, hit me, you, had, you had to make me put version 2. I'll keep the other one up until I upload this one. Actually, I think I overwrote it, so now I have to do save as. Or I think I have to take down the other one now. Yeah, I gotta... We gotta, we gotta take it down. Goodbye. Version 1. You will be missed. Sorry. Gotta do it again. It's not uploading 69 anymore. It's June 10th for me. Okay. Here we go. Let's do it again. No timer, no nothing. First try. Second try. And if you cheese this version, I'm not fixing it. Whatever. So let me let me add the description real quick. Fixed cheese. Hopefully. Okay, now we upload it. I definitely would have been in it by now. It's been six minutes. Okay. 
hopefully this version is doesn't get cheesed. Shout out to Shun. All right, he got, he got first clear. All right, he, he's the true first clear, and hopefully this fixes cheese. And if it doesn't, then it will, it will stay version two forever because I don't fix it again. Okay, there's a new love code. All because I gave the homies a practice store, man. No more practice stores for the homies. There we go. Okay, now now we're good. What's well, on June 10th, man? No 69. <laughs> Unless you're not in uh Eastern time zone, because Eastern time zone you can see I uploaded it at midnight 13. Wait, wait, no, that's the last save. So there you go. I'm gonna leave a comment and say Shun got first clear. Comment! I hope I spell their, their name right. It's, it's that, right? I don't know which one they prefer to go by, but we'll do both. That's that's their YouTube name anyways. You should go follow them on YouTube. You should go subscribe to them on YouTube. They, they play like literally the hardest levels in the game. Hold on, the, the N is capitalized. Is it? Yeah, okay. There, perfect. There you go. All right, now we're done. <laughs> he beat it already. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's so good. Yo, 25% clear rate. Let's go. It took him four attempts. It took me like 15. Oh my god. All right, well, that's that's really funny. No one else play it. Leave it at 25% forever. Highest clear rate. The opposite of clickbait right there. My easiest level ever? 